Hello and welcome. After you've downloaded the Raptor Alert app and you open it, the login screen displays like you see here. If your mobile device supports Touch ID or Face ID, then you'll see an option to enable biometrics. Using Touch ID or Face ID is optional, but if enabled, it does help make the login process faster. Biometrics can be disabled at any time. Now you'll need to enter in your credentials. You'll enter in your username, which is typically your school email address, and click Next. You'll then need to enter your credentials on your district's login page. You'll enter your district username and password, and then click Sign In. If you have Touch ID or Face ID enabled, the app will then ask you to provide that biometric information. Then you'll need to select the building or buildings that you work in, and once selected, click Next. Now you'll be asked to select your primary building. If you selected multiple buildings on the previous screen, this screen allows you to select the school where you spend most of your time. This will become your default building. Once selected, click Save. If this is your first time to log into Raptor Alert, and there's not an active emergency, you'll see the welcome screen and be directed through a guided onboarding process. This is the starting point to help you configure your device to fully utilize the functionality of Raptor Alert, including sending and receiving alert notifications, connecting to 911 services, and communicating your location to others. Once you're ready to continue, click Get Started. The Emergency Call Service screen displays letting you know that during an emergency, you can use our Emergency Call Service to ensure your call is routed to the appropriate call center. Click Next. Here, you'll enter the phone number of your device in order to enable our Emergency Call Service. Once the number is entered and you click Next, a verification code is sent to that number. You'll enter that code here and click Verify. Once verified, the Your Notification screen displays informing you of the importance of getting notified during an emergency so that you can respond quickly and accurately, as well as the fact that you will only receive notifications related to the schools you are assigned to. Click Next and a pop-up display is asking if you'd like to receive notifications from Raptor Alert. Click Allow. Another pop-up display is asking if you would like to receive critical alerts, which means that you will receive an alert with sound on the lock screen even if your phone is muted or has Do Not Disturb turned on. Click Allow and the Location Services screen displays, letting you know that allowing location services expedites response time and accuracy when initiating or responding to emergencies. Also. Location detection will only be used for the purpose of the application and information will not be shared. Click Next and a pop-up display is asking to use your location. Due to the reasons I just mentioned, it is recommended that you select Allow Location Services while using the app. Congratulations! You're now all set up. At this point you can click Enter to access the Raptor Alert home screen but it is highly recommended that you click Learn How. This opens the Learning Center, which walks you through specific topics on how to use Raptor Alert. Click Start to walk through the first topic on how to initiate an emergency. The first screen displays what your home screen within Raptor Alert will look like and tells you to start by tapping any of the emergency buttons. The next step is to slide the button to the right to initiate the emergency. Click the green arrow to advance to the Incident Details screen where you can manage the incident by performing relevant tasks like making an emergency call, group <coughs> messaging, or taking attendance. Click the green arrow to advance and see what the notifications will look like that Raptor Alert sends out in order for others to respond accordingly. Click the green arrow to advance. You have now completed the Initiate an Emergency topic, which displays a check mark next to it. At this point, you can select another topic within the list, or click Done to open the Raptor Alert home screen. 
please do not click any of the emergency buttons unless there is an actual emergency, as doing so will send out emergency alerts. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.